I'd like to announce that we welcome you. There will be more coming. And my part in this program will be to coordinate the MCs. My Shingit people are the ravens. My clan is the dog salmon. And my Shingit ceremonial name is Kajakti. And my other comical name is Tawuchan of the great raven. The drummers are coming forward and they will be in their respective places here. And now celebration 84 will proceed. Go, 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 go
five minutes into mission. As soon as we get to our prospective places, we'll, I will ask the, uh, all the congregation to please uh, arise and the, the uh, Haida uh, nation will come in and we'll open our ceremony with a prayer. Aguk Yuan Hyderberg Guk the Kadiwan Gadanak Kadiwan Gadanak
Austin uh, Hammond. Is Austin Hammond here? Could you come forward, please? Austin would like to say a few words to us before we uh, progress. What Austin said here addressed a specific happening that occurred here just recently regarding the passing of, of my aunt, um, Mildred Sparks of the Kaanachte Di clan. And what Austin said here was that when he heard this, he wanted to say a few words to the people that have gathered here, and he wanted to lean upon, and he addressed Wushkutaha, Jimmy George, uh, from the community of Angoon. And he said, it will be like as if I lean upon you for strength in a time of sorrow and, and heartache that, is, that has come upon us regarding uh, the passing of, of Mildred Sparks. And honestly, re, uh, really will miss Mildred. Mildred was one of the first, one of the individuals who was on the traditional advisory uh, council with Don Nawak, Austin Hammond. And um, he said that every, everything should just continue on the way that we have planned the activity, but he wanted not to let this whole thing go without him having to express his, his um, uh, concern and, and the time that he had here this morning. And I think um, Patrick Paul will maybe enhance what I may have missed. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, 
Sakoyak Kohi, the Adias Nanina Convention Card, I shall deal with the Kayo Committee. Are you committee? I shall deal with the Kha. Akaya to Yaka Kenyan Kuru Kwat has Nate Hukut. One is a Yukad Naknet Loko de Ajina Tanu to Shawati. Anaknet Kud, they are on Kunea or Kunea also you. You are a son of a child. I did how to secure the dark of the second door shut to Tla to Tla to Koshi Jojak. I did two of Nasati there, she took Nasati. I did that. I had to a tea. I want to see us to the nook. So uh, interpreting, like you said, uh, we all have a feeling for any occasion such as this. I kind of feel the, the feeling that we have for Sister Mildred because uh, Mildred uh, was the instigator of what we're doing now. She opened our way to have our, our Indian uh, uh, native dancing and tradition. And so we're feeling uh, kind of Heavy heart today, however, uh, like what Brother Austin said, it will not interfere with our with with our uh, uh, program, and we appreciate this. And so, in, in all, I call to his attention that we too uh, at Sitka, one of my brothers, uh, Martin Thompson, his mother had died, and and uh, we're all ready to to have a, a, a gathering such as this, and so. He waited, and we came in, and we never, we didn't know that his mother had died, and, and, and nonetheless he took an active part in the doings, and and everything went on well. And so, with the feeling of Austin, we sure appreciate his feelings. Thank you, Jimmy, Jimmy, Hago, Hago, Kirk, Hago. Okay, good, great, good. Ach, 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 on guns to do and no gratitude. They should. They should. Stein it. Fathers and mothers, we have just heard this rumor or the news, and it's felt by the people of Angoon, the house at the end of the ro road. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do it here. You can not yet so that the car, car, oh, yeah. How cut at the share at here to I have to stay to count how to eat. Hi, the Yata, to As we have gathered here this morning, we know that the good God above is looking after us, and we hope that He will continue to be with us through the rest of this. Ceremonies. Good at cheese, yeah, yeah, a chance of here, tea, yeah, eat that. Good at cheese, ah, try the dinis, a hot, yeah, a honic, try the dinis, good at cheese, yeah, eat that, a hot tea. 
And I just want to say thank you that I'm here with you folks. I know that my time is limited, but I certainly thank God for this. Yeah. Right, <laughs> A two-day heart. Ah, this is a sick one. Try you. I'd like to thank my uncle, uh, Kaut. And there's others. Uh, I can't recall the names. And uh, what we have heard here this morning, uh, we know that we will be conscious of it. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, this is a very bit hard to uh, to interpret, but I would uh, like to name the person that he is talking about. The life of our people is very, very important, especially among our tribes. And they refer to it as one of those uh, posts, the four posts in a community house. This big long log is lifted so that it would rest on the post. In order for it to lay there without falling, they usually groove it out so it would fit so close that it's just a hairline when that log is placed in, uh, in its place. This is what he referred to as our way of life. It is so fine when it's fitted in with the other lives of people, families. It's so fine, it's just like a hairline. The feeling is so close. The feeling is so close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is all I wanted to say.
what I'm saying now, we have Eva Rickley, who represents the mayor's offices. We have Eva here at this time. Tom, will you escort Eva up here? Thank you very much. I'm here on behalf of the city manager of Juno, and I would like to welcome you to Juno uh, from throughout Southeast Alaska, the Clinkett, Haida, and Simshians. You have given the history that gives Juno its continuity and its his historical place. As I was listening to the previous speakers, the there is such an eloquence and symbolism in the speech that we all can learn from. And throughout these three days that you are here in Juneau, sharing that history and that culture, we hope that it will be preserved not only for your own tribes, but for all of the people of the southeastern area. We have really enjoyed the richness of this culture. And there has been a committee appointed by the mayor, which is a committee of the assembly, cultural and historic, the capital city cultural and historic committee. They are going to be looking for information to develop historical markers for some of the sites that are here in Juneau. We know that you will have a great deal to contribute to that effort. There is so much that enriches Juno because of this culture. And you have a lot to share, and we're hoping that throughout this program of making Juno a more beautiful, more wonderful capital city for everyone, that the history of the people who were here from the very beginning will be incorporated in that effort. And on behalf of the City Borough of Juneau, we welcome you here. We thank you for coming to Juneau, to coming to, for coming to the Centennial Hall. I see many friends among you, and some who are not, I haven't met, but you're friends. <laughs> so I look forward to seeing more of you. Thank you for coming. And I have a check to present on behalf of uh, the assembly and the city borough to David Katzik to assist in some of the activities that you're carrying on. And thank you. Gunas Chish. Gunas Chish, you got thank you. I dug a turkey, not high, Sikaya. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, at this time, it would be indeed appropriate for us to stand in, in silence to, as a tribute to our sister, Mildred Sparks. Shall we all stand? <clears throat> We read from the Bible, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you, that where I am, there ye may be also. Let us bow in prayer. Our Father God, we come into your great and loving presence through the love and peace of Jesus Christ. We give you thanks for Mildred Sparks who spent a wonderful life among us. We thank you for her life of sharing. She gave us something that we will always remember, the, the love of our heritage, the Christian example, a hard-working individual, 
And Father, we commit her to your love and care, for now she has joined you in the church triumphant. We pray for your comfort and strength for her family and the strength of each one of us. We know she is in your peace, in your love. She is with you as you have rewarded her greatly. And now may your love and grace and mercy be with us now and forever. Amen. David, that you want to respond in regards to the gift. Not as tall as uh, Patrick, but I'd like to express our appreciation to the city and borough of Juneau for the contribution that they have given to us. Contribution will go toward the um, videotaping, photographing, and so forth of this particular um, gathering that, that I feel is so, is very historic. So um, I'm going to be speaking here in a few moments, so rather than saying uh, any more thanks a lot. We appreciate what the city has, has done. It's standing behind us and so forth. I think the amount of money, and neither shake your head up and down or, or back and forth, I think the city gave us $3,000. Is that correct? They gave us a $3,000 contribution for videotaping this thing. So let's give the city and borough a hand. At this time, I'm going to call the individuals who are going to be giving the welcoming address. We have individuals from the Slingit Nation. We have people from the, an individual from the Haida Nation. And we also have another uh, person from the Simsian Nation. Will you now please come forward? The person that's supposed to be speaking for the Slingits is Austin Hammond. Is he here? from uh, Matt Lucetta, who will uh, speak at this time. Samogit, Samgiyat, Sigidamanak, Nuam, Kavadam, Wuluhi Hooks, and Wuluh Said Kavadas. Gedakans Haidach Bagot Alaska Nidip Dak Willa Hooks Celebration 82 Samalo Am Gerard and Willa Hooks will mail Haidach and Gedakans in a simple little Mam Gerard Skip and grandchildren the Hooks come with special occasion. Kun. Needy dark like a doat, Jim Sun bucket, middle cat like a guan, and the kids can't be hooks, did as a zals, and dala, those come strokes good lord it. He never devoted Nate and represented Jim Sun Nation of Southeast Alaska. He's some local am, God, he look a little water, six a market bucket, and goon, huna. Cake, Yakutat, will side hard and will some wilp, 
the male come to me, Lemon, I'm Ross, will I will, can he at Kumki goes? Said Kulat and Aljak from Shan Neska Nash River, Skinner River, Git Shan, E Coast, Jim Shan, E Nash River dialect. Oh, I go will Aljak. A hilt, Chakchagat, Juno, Chibi Wet, the Nedit, Kanayat, the Kanajates, the Pagot at Nash River. A hilt, Kitagans, Ukti, Kanayat, Kanadic State, Kitagans, Gigos, Kalinas, Kitongus, Cape Fox, Sight Nicknadic State, Lagos Oath, Neska, a Sight Walk State. It's low am God in Luk, a little water some as Ambassad Gun. Thank you. Some augits, the chiefs, the hereditary chiefs, the ladies and gentlemen. We are honored to participate on this great occasion again, uh, this great gathering of the three nations. We, were, we participated in 82, the first one, and we never forgot that. We met our old friends at that time. We, done da we were glad that we done dancing and singing with uh, our brothers of the Haida and Tlingit Nation. We are very proud to attend this great gathering again. The Shimshan, other groups from Metalkata and Kitskan, they weren't able to attend on account of the working conditions and the financial reasons. So they picked us, the Junu Shimshan group, to represent the whole Shimshan nation from Southeast Alaska in Canada. And uh, once again, I want to thank all the chiefs and the ladies, we call the chief Samogit, and the ladies, Sigitamayanak. And we're very, very honored to stand on the stage to represent our nation, the great chiefs of the Tlingit and the Haidas. And in closing, I want to thank the Lord for allowing us to gather one more time of the three nations again. And it will give us, we are very honored to witness the dancing and singing for the next three days. So in closing, I say, Gunachis Hawa Lukulam. Thank you. Thank you. We have with us uh, Robert Kogo, who will represent the, the Haida Nation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, the ceremony is here. I wish the, <coughs> I forgot what I was going to say. I'm, uh, you put a quarter in me, I can talk for an hour. <laughs> and, uh, that way, I'm supposed to represent the, the Haida group here. We got some of the Queen's Haidas here from the Queen Charlotte Islands and uh, the Kigani Haidas. We have a little different dialect, but we speak the same language. There's a very few of us that still speak the language. The reason I grew up by an old man, old Haida, he taught me the language and not taught me all the good things and all the bad things of the Haida. <laughs> so, I, I'm not strange amongst the, the people up this way. Some of my people come mixed with the Kiksadi in Sitka. They call us Kauskadi. Uh, we found one of our Haidas here. He joined us today, Ross Sobloff. He's part of my clan, Kauskadi. And uh, <coughs> this Bob Martin in the house, he's also a Haida. You know, there's a lot of hiders up here. You don't know it. And so once in a while, they'll spring up in different, from different sources. And it's, it's not surprising 
for the simple reason that the shrewd Haida, he was a trade in the old days, they used to give their most pretty girls to the people in Chilkat, the intermarriage. And so it wasn't uh, unusual to find a lot of Haida's up this way. You'll even find Haida's, I believe, I don't know if they ever surfaced, so in the Hawaiian Islands, there was a whole shipload of Haida's was left out there in the old days, and they were assimilated into the Hawaiian nation. And they never did come back to Alaska, but we have their story. And uh, someday we hope that they might surface from somewhere. Although we've done a little research there, we haven't done enough. I'd like to uh, thank the people here for the opportunity to come before you today <coughs> to give our thanks. <coughs> the Haida's, uh, some, uh, quite a few of the Haida's from Heidelberg couldn't make it. It's uh, like everything else is money problems and then work conditions that makes it impossible for them to, to come up here. And uh, so uh, we start to work yesterday and it was surprising that Vesta Johnson and Irma Lawrence a few got together and we started to round up the Haidas, and I was surprised to find that so many Haidas in Juneau. And so we have a group here, and I hope as time goes along that we will be able to come, maybe come out and sing for you folks. And uh, we're practicing. You know, it takes practice to make perfection. And so uh, when you see us come out probably tomorrow, I want you to be patient with us because we didn't get much practice in. I'd like to express my sincere thanks for the opportunity to thank you for, in behalf of the Haidas uh, that are here. And we are very thankful that uh, we could be a part of the celebration tonight. My work amongst the Haidas in the last 15 years, mostly writing, writing the Haida language and different things. I've worked in Anchorage with Dr. Pulu and uh, for the past eight years. And uh, it's been a very good relationship to work with people like that and also in Ketchikan. I uh, brush up on my Haida once in a while. Probably it's kind of a minority language and you don't hear that too much. Probably up here you hear more Tlingit. But you know the Haida and the Tlingits are Athabascan related groups. The Haidas came out of the Eunuch River in the old days. And the Tlingits, some of them came out through the Nash River drainage. That was before the Samsian, before the Samsians came out. But they were known to coexist. And that's the way I've seen it all along in my days, that the Tlingits and the Haidas have coexisted. And so there was a lot of intermarriages. And so you find a lot of Haidas up here, and you find Tlingits down in our district, and it's not unusual. I'm going to talk a little Haida now. Hawa, di taulung lasis, lungan kilagan, ay tu atlung gudan la dan slingaging, atlung esi, yankan atit gudungay lagan, kin la uijing, kin la uijing. Students <laughs> Vagadil Ayat Kudangste Atlan King Adlagan, Mildred Sparks, Lanit Unsiden, Nanjada La is in Hades and Taut Guinea, Awatkai Gust Kringen Unsiden, Kidgesing is he. Come Atlan Convince Natling is low, Lakhang Adan Tling is in Guinea. Kudang La. Itlan Katsky Dini Ayat Time get Hanla Halan Suslo, Kudans Little, Itl Hayden, Itl Hadassi, 
Langustan, Slangus Hot A. Take canoe, hung a little cadder. Take canoe. Island people. So, wagon now. A day so, I think we danced the gay cardista, Kilkangelgen, who dang law, Eason sang, Gendan Natlin, Mildred Spark, Hungwogen, a great alguizing. Hungin hating us, who dang law, a slayer, Katia aging, who dang law, a slayer. Wagon I, Aslono, Kuswas, had das, Lungan Kill Lagen, Hawa, eat how long glasses, Hawa. Now I have our own uh, Austin Hammett to represent the Tlingit Nation. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good Ya <laughs> I think it was tea. She called a toss a go. I am bit of a tatami. I dare I do she hate the ya. I to the two I dare I am be. I assist the hood. Take on a hot tea, ya. Take good tea. Who's kicking? Ha hun ko has, ha ta kas. Ano kaya ko na yas sa kanta ni ko hasing kit kustie? Yan akik ko na yakik. Yan daisy da wasag ya. Ano kaya ko kustie kaya? Ako ko has, hasis ko has, at ayos ko siyat. Ta sa kisuot Ya ha kan das kwa tini a a ka ya ya tras a o ti a ta ya a ya sak se to sa ko a ya ka tus tan a ya ko a ya su shan tu ya wo ni a ka ya a ya yen tus ni a ya. Ya kugena ida wasaka kakaya ye wuti. Kudesa kayo te chita kayo. Yunande adeo na katsa. Kusa da si kats. Hasa ya ha hon ko has kasusiti. Yunande ya ikte. So kaysa u chita ko. A harnas cuts the hour. A two day I can take a hon ho has. Hot dark has. A day a hoot eye sakaya, ichter. Kelsey cuts. Yes, here, Lisa, a sakaya. Tatiana hard day. Yet a hot hakuya takati. I don't think it's the year. Park to stand in the year. I didn't ask a native brotherhood and sister with a kayati. I do secretly that we shall talk out the ayak. See if the county quit a hack on her. Katsuya Nande. A joy that. Ataka to your kaid, Hotani. 
Yahawadi Atayuk Atashiatk Yahakikas Ashikola Kena what Atsahat at Hankasani Tashiudas is always cutting a deal at Hanke. The state high and out of its in a steel at Hanke. At the way that I was had a county, I yet to ask a good dark of the Tani Yahawu Wadi. Ah, Tasha Stuins got to sneak out at Hankayan. Yet I was sneaky. At the two hot case can a suit at Kaye. Ha, ye got to has contain. Johan had to what I saw was Kahling get you hot hunger. Oh, Han, a strange catus nigaya. A stork say a can a nakakati. Hotling get costi. At the way that Achtawas got a hot taniata. Yak was Kalahayo to Haye. It has hunkly at Sanis and can eat sneak. Chakwa is Kasnik. Yea, you had a good to what hot. A sleek quish cake, the great in our sock. Take a haku in a gas. A sleek gas. As to Kais Kasnik or Tiati. Ah, the Han is a caniki. Yea, that had a chankasan, it is cut to sleek nickne. Kais go what near what has a gosha yeh has so. Sustains got to sneak a cow, hot cake or heek. I had a hot yak, ha costi hot can a heek. Johan had two over. Has a strange got to sneak. Yay, that I wish hunt high, caught a yay. A two nach. Ah, you still collect the naked hot on the tani. A chalk a cow to a car. So he just the tea, a heart has a cake as a dark as star not to strainy. A year after us go yet a hot honey. A year at a time in his house yet there has to see two year at tea. A jaya, ya is a tadish hati uya. A chada of the tanya nante. Kel the chitago. Yakona na ni to shikatsuya. Cha goya ya. Ah, you satkin. Ah, yakon khosa kakas. Hasya satu se hai khostia ya. Tat khosti in chief. Ah, ah, you satkin nu goya. Ah, yak shadi yi tinni. Kona na shtau wo. Ah, I used to get a car and a cocoa to use a car and a car and a cheese got a check and a job. I do good. Cockatani, you know, a sock. Cockatani. Who jay a juicy high at the yaka good? Ah, talk where I can a sonic yaka good hour. The <laughs> Was a cosky day. Your kaya was a tea at two good and adak to see ya. A kaya. You can cut to ark. You have to take out the tea, a cow, the chinook. A kaya can a good day, you have to catch a canes art. Cohaus in the cosplay to knock. Who joke a cow is she? On in a good. Yes, she, Corona, I see ye. I ought to say ye. Ah, I shall eat that. Hana de eat tin. Ah, Hakon Nasta, oh, 
a lot of ways you could think about our life, our trinkets. We talk about our children. So I have to put it out among our trinkets, our grandchildren. Enhance what I'm doing for my grandchildren to show my feeling, how I love them. So I have to do and show to them. What I was saying about our younger generation now, they can't talk, think it. They don't know what to do. Right now, they start dancing. This is the time we got a chance to push them forward and talk with them, tell the story, old story, I think it knows it. But we are bashful to talk to our grandchildren, to our children, to our friends. So we lost everything now. But I'm glad that it starts right now. As older people, we have to talk with our children, our grandchildren, so they could learn. This is what I'm doing, that it we're going to have it tomorrow. It never had been done before, but for the grandchildren that I have to do, I mention my grandpa, Jim David, Joe Whiskers. That's who I learned the story from, our Tlingit story. Uh, Jim David, he's from Sitka, and the other one's from Haynes, Joe Whiskers. They the one tell me the story, and Jim David tell me the story about the raven. Joe Whiskers tell me the story about Chilcat, all the landmarks that I know. This is what we need to tell our children and run our village. Let them know our landmark, whatever we have. I'm sure thank to be here with you. Only thing I had it, I skipped this A and B. In Haynes, 1929, when it started over there, they all the people talking about Patagonet, John Danawak, my grandfather, Jim David, they were alive, and uh, Jim Tlenard, They've been talking about what shall we do, what shall they take it back from us, from these hands. So they think about that we call Kogena, that banner. They got A and B area on it. Sisterhood got area in us. The way they're talking about it, in a place when we let go, the error, the way it's going, the way it's land, we're going to see. When they look at it, Alaska Native Brotherhood and Sisterhood. Right now, when it pointed up there, we had our friends, Alaska Native Brotherhood. Through Alaska Native Brotherhood, we got no raven tribe. Alaska Native Brotherhood was eagle, it's one brother. 
and our sisters. This way it goes. It land in Kitchikan. All the way Alaska Native Brotherhoods come to that. We're all brothers. So we have to tell each other about our children. To Seattle, the area is still going down. It's, they came up. So I'm telling you what I had it in my feeling. So you could do it. And let's look for our grandchildren, our children, and let us teach them what to do so they could learn so our Tlingit culture wouldn't be lost. And I'm thank you to talk with you. Thank you, Austin. And now we have Brother Kalani from the Hawaiian Nation. Ako wa pau, o ko i noa o kalani mai neki no Hawaii mai o, no Hawaii mai Marco Elima, hiki mai nei no Hawaii e huipu ako ko pu no Hawaii mai o ko, no ke i ho o laule a nui, he me a nui no Hawaii na o ko, na lahui e kolu no Hawaii o na Shingit na Haida a me na Simpson. Ine ine yau i ka makila makahiki umi kumaiwa kana valu kumalua no ka o ko celebration 82 na hoi ilila na hoi kila manawa na hoi ua hana ia na hoi yau na o ko me ka puwai ha mama me ka nui loko mai kai a i kea ke i makahiki nei o hiki mai no mako elima Mekeloha o Mako o Kaaina o Hawaii. It is with a great deal of pleasure and a distinct honor for five of us to be with you at Celebration 84. It is, uh, it has been a, it's a long way from Hawaii, and uh, we anticipated greatly being here with you. We brought a bit of uh, Hawaii with us in the form of our uh, famous pineapples and orchids and macadamia nuts and a bit of uh, talent with which we'll be sharing with you uh, this evening. Uh, at which time this evening you will be meeting our, uh, our five Hawaiians. So I think that's all I should say at this point. Make uh, a mahalo Thank you very much for your hospitality, your very warm reception to us from Hawaii. Mahalo. Genachtish hawa. Very good. Uh, so to our, to our Simpson uh, Brother Nation, I say local M. And to the Haida, I'll say hawa. And to the uh, uh, Hawaiian, I would say mahalo. And to the Shingit, I would say thank you. <laughs> you didn't know I can speak all that language. Uh, I didn't either. I just learned this this morning. So thank you very much. And so now we have a representative from the governor's office, uh, Tom Jackson. Give him a hand. Don't be too serious. <laughs> He's a Republican. I didn't know that I was going to be the representative for the governor this morning, but it certainly is a pleasure for me to have this honor of reading the proclamation the state of Alaska 
Executive Proclamation by Bill Sheffield, Governor. As Alaska society experiences rapid change, it is vital that the culture, rich traditions, heritage, and history of Alaska's people be preserved. The knowledge, the wisdom of Alaska natives as gathered by the elders of the state's native tribes are a priceless record of mankind's accomplishments in the far north. It is essential to the well-being of all Alaskans that the recorded traditions of the Tlingit, Haida, and Simpsian nations in Southeast be showcased and passed on to younger generations. Given the state's rapid growth, it is essential that native traditions be preserved now. Otherwise, an important link to our past could be lost forever. All Alaskans would be spiritually poor in that event. The traditional elders are organized a united Tlingit, Haida, and Simpsian celebration through the Sea Alaska Heritage Foundation to celebrate this spirit of unity in preserving cultural traditions. The gathering will center on the special recognition of the relationship between traditional clan groups and their members. Now, therefore, I, Bill Sheffield, Governor of the State of Alaska, do hereby proclaim May 9, 10, and 11, 1984, as Tlingit, Haida, and Simsian Celebration 84 in Alaska, and urge all Alaskans to note this important opportunity to preserve and promote the culture of our state by promoting this native celebration. Dated March 12, 1984, done by Bill Sheffield. Governor, who has authorized the seal of the state of Alaska to affix to this proclamation. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we have our own uh, representative from Sea uh, Alaska. Uh, Barn is out of town, and so uh, Marlene, the uh, president, will will take the place of uh, Barn Malak. <coughs> Marlene uh, Johnson. Thank you, Patrick. I, I want to correct. I'm not the president. I'm the chairman of the board. <laughs> On behalf of Sea Alaska and its board of directors, which many are amongst us this morning here, some participating in the program, we would like to welcome you all to this second historical and most important occasion We are very proud to be a small part and have participated and supported the Heritage Foundation. We are proud of what the Board of Trustees and the staff has accomplished in this very young foundation. They have done a marvelous job and we are certainly proud of all of them. We are also very proud and I was very excited with them marvelous job the drummers did here this morning. I, I don't know how long they practiced, but they certainly sounded good to me. And I think that if that's a, just a small sign of what's going to happen in the next three days, I think we're all going to be very much 
benefited by and much richer when we come out of this next three days than we were before we came in here. The board is, is going to be here most of the time and if any of you would like to visit our headquarters, we'd be happy to have you there or see any of you here. We want to thank the elders that are here from all over uh, the state for sharing with us our very proud and wonderful heritage and culture. And with that, I, I thank you very much. My name is Judson Brown. <clears throat> I'm chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Alaska Heritage Foundation. My clicking name is uh, Hintage Shakakuni from the Killer Whale House, Klukwan, Kitku Shihit. In behalf of the uh, Sea Alaska Heritage Foundation, it's a pleasure, a of, of, of very great pleasure to welcome the leaders of the Clinket the Haida, and the Tsimsian, and the Hawaiian nations here to this gathering tonight, this, ap this morning rather. And for the next three days, of course, we will be celebrating and sharing some of the experiences that we have had, some of the history, the oral history, the songs that we have partly forgotten, and that we are now reminding each other of uh, concerning the uh, old ventures and so on of our people. Actually, today and the next two days, we are celebrating the uh, high drama, the hardships, and the great achievements that our ancestors were able to achieve we are thankful for this occasion in many ways. One, number one primarily is sharing, being able to hold hands and share with one another the high esteem that we had for our elders and for our past. We pay homage to the past and we also salute the youngsters, the younger people and the future that they face, hoping that in the stories that we are able to relate to them, somehow they will be able to gather the spiritual strength that the elders tried to pass on to us in the past and from the past. We have so many people to thank for the success that we have encountered so far. The city of Juneau has always welcomed us and today especially I'm thankful for the wonderful representative that they sent to us. The governor's office has likewise been very cooperative with us proclaiming this celebration 84 statewide we feel that we have been honored in many ways and blessed in many ways. The legislature has particularly has been very, very helpful, of course, and we can never forget the help that we receive every year from the Sea Alaska Corporation. And I hope that Marlene can take back to the board of directors and Byron, who is our steadfast supporter, and never failing source of encouragement uh, about the way we feel about the Sea Alaska Corporation, the way they feel about us, and making sure that we continue on preserving the past, preserving our culture, preserving our history, preserving all of the things that we hold dear 
And I'd like to particularly mention at this time our, our, our appreciation and certainly a welcome to our Hawaiian visitors who came from halfway around the world to be with us today and the next two days. For the next three days, you will be, we will be sharing, we will be enjoying, mutually liking our past, for it is a good past, mutually loving our ancestors, for they were a caring and loving people. Caring for those who today are trying to preserve all of these beautiful stories for us. I would like to pay particularly a uh, particular warm uh, tribute to the staff who is presently working on the preservation of our languages in our headquarters at CLSK Heritage Foundation under the direction of Nora Dick Awenauer and also for the youngsters as particularly the uh, scholarship foundation which the scholarship committee rather of our foundation which always plays a real low profile to us but to the scholars who when they need the extra money to finish a quarter to finish this out of school year are always there to help they do a tremendous job for our heritage foundation and to all of you certainly a warm welcome. There is a hidden part of our organization which you hardly ever see who work at the job daily of keeping our organization vital, alive, and fighting for our rights, fighting for our, the preservation of our history. And David Katzik, our president, is the one who heads up that part of the organization. We hardly ever speak about David. He is a dedicated person, from a, comes from a long line of uh, leaders from Chilcat, who works for us today as a servant. And it is certainly with a great deal of pleasure, and I have asked for this privilege to introduce to you David Katzik, President of Sea Alaska Heritage Foundation. Thank you. Gunnachish, Yei Daya Chakayaiki, Stakat Yuhan, Yag Hati Ati, Ach Ish Has, Ach Sani Has, Ach Art Has, Ach Sasilku Has. Ach tu yak ai ki stikat ya ye 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 has a yasak tlait ka enach family wusht utu di at yai ki ha ha kusti dat a daijakach tu ne ye tlal khatwa khusako ya 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 ha singit kusti ye han away ye siku a chwe kunus chish ye ye daya haka Atlain Gunnus Chi Shawe, Skarkani Yansu Yadu Has Gunnus Chi Shay Daya Haka, Anyanas Yanakla. I'm thankful today for all of you that, that have come here today. That really, in a way, when it comes down to handing out any kind of credit on who's doing what, it's really yourselves in the communities that are working that are volunteering your time. And when I looked this morning and I looked last night and I saw the place completely full with the people that are going to be performing at Celebration 84, it really indicated how much work has been going on since the first celebration of Celebration 82. Uh, comments were made regarding the drummers. I think you're going to see some, some younger dancers. And lest I forget, I would like to do something here that maybe the gentleman is not prepared to, to do, but I'd like to introduce to you someone that maybe you really, really don't know, but we have an individual here from the state legislature, Senator Eliason. Would you stand, please? 
Senator Lyson. Um, those of you from Sitka, you can be very, very proud of this gentleman in the sense that one every year when we have gone to the state legislature to seek funds, this gentleman who has come and stood behind the program that we, three years in a row that we came to them, once right after Celebration 82, the legislation was passed, it was vetoed, we weren't able to obtain the funds. And then in 1983, we went again to the legislature and we were able to obtain funds for the Language and Cultural Studies program. And he, again this year in 1984, we have gone to them. I understand our legislation is currently in the uh, Senate uh, budget and will be up for free conference and so forth and so on. But Senator Eliason has been one of the, it was, was the individual who took the lead for us this year to get our legislation into the uh, Senate Community and Regional Affairs uh, budget. So we appreciate your, your efforts, Senator, and uh, I know that the, con the uh, appropriation, should we get it, will go a long ways toward the continuation of the work that's going on that's vital to all of us as a people. In conclusion, my remarks that I'd like to say again is this, and I said this last night. When I look across the body of people here, I cannot help but get emotional. I cannot help but feel a little tug within my heart because when I look at you, I can see my father's people that I love very dearly, the Kaunachtedi people. Then I take a look over to my right and I see uh, a person from the Killer Whale Clan, the Taklawedi people. Fa my grandfather, Mataklawedi Dachkan. And then when I look, look again and I can look to, to Yakutat, I can look to, to uh, Paul Henry, or I can look to Haynes and see Austin Hammond or the, even when I, used to, when I used to see my aunt, Mildred Sparks, the Kanach Teidi, Kanach Teidi and Sukkah and, 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 uh, Pardon me, I put uh, Paul Henry in with my father's people, but the point that I'm trying to make is that as I go throughout the Southeast Panhandle, wherever I go, I'm going to come across my relatives. For example, uh, the Kiks Adi people from, from Sitka. For, for me as a person. And so I can go wherever I go. I'm going to meet my family. I have a lot of fathers. I have a lot of aunties. I have a lot of, lot of uncles. I have a lot of Kaniyan. When the Sitka group comes out here uh, to perform, that's going to be my Kaniyan. And I can look to you and I can see so this Chilkat blanket that I have on and some of the things that you're going to see the Thunderbirds have were really as a result of a person who was, who, who was a, a kagwantan yadi, dastia, working hand in hand <coughs> with, my, with my uncle Joe White to have the kind of things that we have. And we're thankful for that. We're thankful for the contribution that you're making to your children. We're thankful that you've heard the call and that you're coming forward and you're going to be contributing to your, your children and we're going to benefit from it. You don't know how much self-confidence, how much pride, and I mean healthy pride, that comes to us when we know who we are. When we walk through this land, we can actually say that we hear the voices of our ancestors ringing across the land. And so when we start, when we start the performances and the, and the dances, let us do it with a joyous occasion as if our ancestors were watching us and seeing that which would, we are doing and would encourage us on and say, continue on. Itu yanshutan, set your heart and your mind. Itu yanshutik, just set it toward your, set your heart and mind toward the goal that you want to achieve. And ikwaiachwan, be strong and of a good courage. And whatever we do, let's do with love and kindness and in consideration of one another as a people. I love you and I appreciate all that you're doing and I know this is going to be an exciting time and maybe once every two years I get to take a little time and speak. And so I'm thankful that I could be part of this and I want you to know that the success of this gathering 
isn't so much with respect to what the Sea Alaska Heritage Foundation can do, but what you do, what you have done. This year, you have come on your, literally on your own penny. You've come contributing. And those of you that have come have demonstrated your commitment, your love and concern for your family and what you want to have remembered about you. Because I, when I look here now, I can look again. We heard Mildred Sparks had passed away. But I remember in Celebration 82, there was a gentleman that sat in the very front row in the Tlingit Haida community building by the name of Frank Paradovich, who is no longer sitting with us. What a person who contributed to this state's history. Another individual that sat in the front row that I no longer see is Elsie Pratt. Elsie Pratt's picture, for your information, happens to be in the computer magazine called InfoWorld uh, be because of the work that we're doing with, with microcomputers. The InfoWorld magazine printed a picture of cel from Celebration 82 and wrote an article about what we're doing in the micro world. There are a number of other individuals, the late uh, Joe White, pe people that have, have worked on the culture and the heritage. And if I were to go on and on, I'd probably be, be here for the rest of the morning. And, and maybe those of you would still come up to me and later on and say, well, you forgot this individual or that person. But I just want to say that thank you very much. And let's enjoy ourselves. Let's have a great time. And uh, I, know that, I know that you're all eager to get going here. Um, so I have nothing further to say. We'll one of the uh, masters of ceremonies come here and kind of give the order of the order of the day. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you, Justin and uh, David, and my apologies to to Marlene for such immediate promotion. But I am a good campaigner, Marlene, so I. I hope you'll forgive me. Uh, one of the things I learned in this Tlingit tradition is that to be a son of the raven, you have to do a lot of running around. You have to do a lot of running around. And the worst part of this, to be a brother-in-law of a raven, you have to take a lot of orders. And that's what I'm getting today. So, but I'm enjoying it. I'm, uh, uh, I'm learning quite rapidly, and uh, and I appreciate it. I seek the learning of my heritage as much as as you folk do. You folk do, and one thing I really appreciate is that all morning you haven't laughed at my Tlingit language yet, and I appreciate that. I'm trying very hard to to abide by my Tlingit language, and so so you haven't laughed, and I appreciate that. And so now. Our next one, I'll turn it over to my boss, uh, Dr. Walter Sibla. The next, the next portion of our program will be one I'm sure that you will enjoy. It is interesting. It's a celebration of a birthday. And we would like at this time to have all the raven boys the raven men come over and stand on this side, the raven boys. Paul Henry will you lead them on. The raven boys, come up here, please. Charlie Littlefield. The ravens are coming. The ravens are coming. The raven boys. And I want Austin to be standing among them, too.
We want Sam Newman up here too. I think he's a Raven boy. Joe Bennett up here too, he's a raven boy. Are there any other raven boys out there? They're still flying. They're still flying. <laughs> At this time, the family of Jenny Clanat will come on the platform, the family of Jenny Clanat. Matthew, Fred, will you escort them on? So, Mr. Bennett, will you escort them on? And Austin Hammond, will you escort them on? Paul Henry, uh, Hinuktaq, Andrew Johnson. We are glad you're up here, Jenny Clanat. The opposite tribe and clan are on the platform to greet you, to welcome you to this occasion. The State of Alaska Executive Proclamation by Bill Sheffield, Governor, on May 18, 1984, Janet Lunat Sankik will celebrate her 94th birthday, born at Jitkat, near what is now Mile 8 of the Haynes Highway. Jenny has become a living inspiration to her clan the Singit people, and all Alaskans. She is regarded by many as living history, patiently allowing her memories of many historical events to be preserved on tape by members of the Jilkat Valley Historical Society. These recordings will benefit not only the people of the Kaguantan clan, but all Alaskans as well. Jenny has taught at an early age how to weave the Nachen, and she is considered one of the last traditional weavers of these internationally famous blankets. She has passed on her knowledge of this important cultural skill to her clan's young people, helping to perpetuate a part of their past that is uniquely Tlingit. Now therefore I, 
Bill Sheffield, Governor of the State of Alaska, do hereby proclaim the day May 18, 1984, as Jenny Sunat Day in Alaska and urge all residents to remember the contributions of Jenny, whose weavings, stories, and memories of a time gone by can be appreciated by all Alaskans, dated May 8, 1984, done by Bill Sheffield, governor who has also authorized the seal of the state of Alaska to be affixed to this proclamation. I'd like to inform you that this uh, nice lady sitting here had four daughters, there was four of us, and there's five generations of us. We number 101 from Jenny Clanot, from all her daughters. If we were all here, we'd fill up the stage just from her. Thank you. I want to say thank you to you, and I don't know what they called me up here for. And now they brought me up here. Thank you. Thank you. 
all who is here. She says thank you to only me. I have my song, said she. I want to sing for you whether you want it or not. We weren't here when they tried to pay for this land, and so I'm going to sing about the land. I'm going to live a long time, she said. My, my grandparents from Angoon. You're going to see me for a long time up here yet, said she. Now I will sing, get ready. Now I'm going to sing for you. <laughs> Thank you, and my time is now coming. My time is coming. Kagontan children, thank you. For the, as you see me for the last time, to the one side may be the chorus. She's going to sing to some of her sweethearts. Uh, With this, I will say goodbye to you. Now for the announcement. At noon we will break for lunch. Lunch you will be on your own. And then two to three o'clock will be a memorial service. It will be here, a memorial service for Brother uh, Bill Egan, I imagine, is it? Yes. Uh, two to three it will be here. And at 3 o'clock, we'll go into our good times again. Uh, the program is, is written as to how you're going to come in. So either check with uh, Thomas Jackson or Dr. Walter Ball for myself. Saxman. Saxman. Kitchkan. Haida. Haida. Evening. Evening. Huna. Huna. Yakutat. Yakutat. Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Haynes. Haynes. See, that's, that, that's the way it's going to... Uh,
be uh, run uh, this afternoon and this evening. So with that in mind, I will say Mahalu, Local AM, Hawa, Gunachish. We'll see you at 2 o'clock.